All right, everybody, welcome back to another offshore spearfishing video. In this one, you guys are going to see the greatest contrast of visibility that you'll probably ever see in the Gulf of Mexico in one video. You guys have been spoiled lately. I've been spoiled lately with the super clear blue water. But this video is going to show you what diving in the Gulf can be like and what oftentimes is like super dirty and green and aside from it being dirty there was tons and tons of fish with that said let's get into the action you guys enjoy They come up shallow. Oh. <laughs> nope. All right. First land at AJ ever. Just pulled up to a cutoff rig or a layover. This thing came up 17 feet. That's how shallow it was. Definitely the biggest AJ. I've ever put in the boat. So now that you've seen about as good as it gets here in the Gulf, it's time to show y'all what the not so good clarity looks like. Three or four uh, cobia, a couple big reds. They're kind of small though. 45. Some big reds down there, it's just so dark. It is very dark. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. Freaking spooky. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought I smoked it and it fucking just ripped out. Probably three or four. I thought I did, but it just popped off. Red snapper. Is this a snapper? Yeah. Say what? No. That's why I shot that red. Yeah. There's a bunch of big reds down there. Oh, really? That was the only one I saw. Why you didn't shoot? Yeah, I was on my way up. They started coming up to follow me up. My question is, what the hell happened to the boat? Whenever they turned broadside, I shot the biggest one I've seen. Still down there, huh? Yeah, I was tired. I'm 55 hey, on that I've train. never seen someone shoot a red snapper on a grill ship. Yeah, I mean, I was waiting on a cobia. Oh, that's some shit flying. But then I, that one was hanging way down there. That's a hammer. Yeah. Ooh, he's bigger than I thought. Watch that shaft there. Yep. There you go. That's a big one. Check it out. That snapper's lit up. We're out here diving the chains of these big drill ships, looking for cobia. And I went down there looking for them. Didn't see them, but this guy was lurking way down below me. And took a long shot down at 55 feet. Got it done. Beautiful red snapper. This thing worked. It came right in. Yeah. 
Big one. All right. Hopped in on a wreck. Ronnie was joking about jumping in because it's so dirty, and we actually ended up doing it. See the wreck that time? Hey, this is on top of the wreck. Heck yeah. Thanks. Woo. How big was he? Big enough to freak you out, I guess. Mangro! Ah! Mangro! Damn, big. big <laughs> yeah, I was letting him dangle down below me so all that commotion would cause a shark to come up and bump you on the leg. Yeah. You knew it was a girl? That was my goal. Yeah. Come get me. <laughs> it felt like somebody else was being fucking rubbed me in the leg. <laughs> you look behind you and no one was there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, you got a little chub on your leg. Fire up the grill! <laughs> Time to eat. All right, y'all, we just got back. Ronnie's actually cleaning up some lobster. We're cleaning the boat up, cleaning some fish. I'll show you guys real quick. Got them in the icebox. Got some turbo red snapper. We got one cobia I whiffed on one. I thought I hit it, but it came off pretty quickly. So ended up getting our limit of reds. Ronnie got his limit. Uh, Elliot got a ling or cobia. And uh, yeah, good afternoon trip. We're only out there, I think, from one till... Hold up. It's now 8 o'clock now, so probably a six hour trip. Pretty good haul. Uh, the Merclair was insane today, so I haven't really seen it like that a whole lot. I've seen it like once or twice like that in Corpus where we dive, but it was no vis at the surface, and then about 20, 30 foot down, that's when it started to open up. It got super dark, but just opened up to clear, you know, deep green to clear blue water, which is really cool. And that's where we got our snapper, so. Good diving, had a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to get back at it tomorrow. Huge on the outside out here. 
And a cobia. I don't know what the f it was. <laughs> Big shark? I don't know. <laughs> it was right in that the line where it gets murky and it breaks. Or the bottom. Up like no, like probably 30 foot. Oh he was at 30 foot? Yeah, on the outside over here. Oh come get us! Stop! Ah! Come get us! <laughs> 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 so long story short day two was just as dirty but the current got a lot worse hurricane irma actually had just gotten into the gulf and was heading towards the coastline so the diving as far as fighting the current became a lot more difficult we did, however, push out farther and find some clear water, and I decided to hop in and look for some cool reef fish. I was seeing quite a bit of tropical uh, coral fish, like Spanish hogfish, and what I now know as creole fish. At the time, I had no idea what they were. They looked like a vermilion snapper as far as the, the figure, and then the color underwater looks like a grouper. It has that light brown color, but apparently when you bring them up to the surface, they're a vibrant red. I didn't shoot one because I didn't know what it was, but I hear they taste pretty good. That's actually a Creole fish right there just to give you a visual on it. But yeah, I was looking for a big Spanish hogfish, maybe some dog snapper. I was looking way down there for cuberas. We were out in that deeper water, so there was a possibility of one sitting way down there in between the rig legs. Unfortunately, I didn't see any, so I decided to stay up here, hang around 45 feet. 50 foot and see if I can pluck off one of these cool reef fish. There's actually quite a few of rock kind grouper on the rig, I forgot to mention, uh, but those were mixed in with those Spanish hogs, Creole fish, and here in a minute, dog snapper. Seven. Get her done. 